Cassie, we're on your tour bus right now. This is your home for the next <laughs> while. Super comfortable. How do you feel getting on the bus today? I love getting on the bus. It's amazing because I feel like I'm in a rock band. <laughs> you know, we've got this whole bus. We've got bunks. We've got a bed. It's got like a kitchen. I, you know, I totally feel like I've gotten the band together and I'm taking it on the road. Yeah. And it makes me feel really happy because you know, I'm not in all musically talented, so this is my only chance to do something like this. <laughs> but you look like a rock star with your hair, so it totally yeah. works. Thank <laughs> you. I just got it dyed pink the other day, so I'm happy. Is there anything that you, for sure, you were like, I have to bring this with me on tour, you have to have it on the bus? I absolutely had to bring my Kindle because I gotta read while I'm on the bus. I gotta catch up on books and I don't, I don't want to fall behind, yeah. so I've got my Kindle. I've got my reading apps on my iPad. I've got some TV episodes for me and Holly and Sarah to watch because Holly Black and Sarah's friend are going to be with me. Downloaded a K drama for me and Sarah to watch, so I think we're going to enjoy that. And um, oh, fuzzy pajamas! Fuzzy yeah. pajamas are a must. There's a whole like setup, so I want to be, you know, in between events. I'm going to be with my hair in braids and the fuzzy pajamas watching the <laughs> K drama. Girls' night every night. Right? Every night, exactly. <laughs> I, we may have to stop somewhere and get some popcorn. If you could bring any Shadowhunters character with you on board, who would you want on your tour with you? I would bring Magnus because he has the magical ability to summon up coffee. <laughs> <laughs> from Dean and DeLuca, which is like my favorite place. Yeah. So I'm like, at any point on the trip, I'd just be like, bring me a coffee and he would have one. You'd have to be like, not afraid of him though. You'd have to like be ruling over him, right? For oh, him to yeah. do that. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to be on really good terms because otherwise he would never do it. <laughs> have this tour so people can come check you out on the tour and find you in a couple of different cities. Is there anything you're really looking forward to about your Lady Midnight tour? Um, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is that this tour is going to take me to a lot of places I've never been, like, literally never been. So we're going to Omaha, we're going to Kansas City, we're going to Denver and Boulder, Colorado, and I've never been anywhere to the, any of these places. And you, often on tour I find myself kind of going to the same city, so I kind of specifically said I want to go places I've never been. So I, one of the things I'm really hugely looking forward to is just going to places that I've never visited before or toured before and meeting fans that otherwise I would never be able to meet. When you get to a new town, is there anything that you love to do first? Um, well, I love to ask people who live in the town before I get there, like, what's your favorite place to go or what's your weirdest landmark? Like, um, when I got to Seattle, I asked a friend of mine, what's the weirdest landmark? And there's a huge troll like that's made out of sort of like sand and cement that somebody carved it's like under a bridge kind of looks like it's holding oh. holding it up so they sent me to the troll bridge and I took pictures because one of the fun things about writing urban fantasy is you never know when you're going to want to use something that exists in reality and kind of bring it into a book so that's my favorite thing to do.